Get ready to revolutionize your workflow, because today we're diving into the top trending open source dev tools. This week, we're talking about game changers like Agent Squad, orchestrating powerful AI teams for smarter conversations, and FeeVM, bringing truly private smart contracts to Ethereum. Plus, we'll explore PowerShell for object-based automation, the lightning-fast Athos code editor, and DAF. These tools are set to supercharge your development. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Agent Squad, orchestrating AI agent teams for smarter multi-topic conversations. Agent Squad is a unique open source framework that brings a powerful twist to conversational AI by coordinating multiple specialized agents instead of relying on a single generalist. At its heart, it uses intelligent intent classification to route each user query to the agent best suited to handle it. This means every question is answered by the most appropriate expert, making overall responses smarter and more relevant. What really makes it stand out is the supervisor agent, a master coordinator that acts like a team leader, invoking specialized agents as needed and managing them in parallel. This agent as tools design allows simultaneous processing, so multiple tasks get handled at once, smart delegation, and coherent response building, even when the conversation shifts topics. This system shines because it's built for flexibility and scale. Whether you're working in Python or TypeScript, it adapts without fuss. You can run it anywhere, from your laptop to cloud environments like AWS Lambda, thanks to its lightweight deployment agnostic design. Pre-built agents, classifiers and storage options help you get started quickly and you can plug in your own agents or customize components as needed, no lock-in. Another standout factor is how gracefully it manages conversation context. Every interaction, whether handled by a single agent or routed through a supervisor with multiple sub-agents, maintains history across the system. This ensures follow-ups feel natural, even when tasks span domains like travel, weather or billing. In essence, Agent Squad is special because it turns conversations into coordinated team efforts. Every query gets routed, managed, and answered by a collective of agents, while you get modularity, context awareness, extensibility, and seamless deployment. Project number two, SheVM, confidential smart contracts on any EVM encrypted, composable, and quantum resistant. FHEVM is groundbreaking because it brings truly private smart contracts to existing Ethereum compatible blockchains without changing anything about their base architecture. It achieves this using fully homomorphic encryption, FHE, which allows all smart contract computations to happen on encrypted data. That means transaction details and on-chain state remain forever hidden, yet still fully functional on-chain. What makes FHEVM unique is how it combines encryption with interoperability. Encrypted state exists alongside public state, so legacy applications keep working seamlessly. Developers can write contracts using familiar Solidity syntax and toolchains, choosing which parts to encrypt and who can decrypt them, all defined right within the contract's logic. Equally impressive is the architecture that powers these private operations. Symbolic execution enables contracts to defer heavy cryptographic work to an off-chain coprocessor, keeping on-chain validation fast and scalable. This split design means encrypted interactions can be composed and run efficiently, dramatically speeding up execution without burdening the main network. The decryption process is not centralized either. It uses threshold decryption via a decentralized key management service, KMS, ensuring that no single party can decrypt data on their own. The real-world potential opens up rich use cases, from confidential transfers and sealed bid auctions to private voting, encrypted on-chain identity, and hidden moves in blockchain games. These scenarios were previously impossible under the transparency-first blockchain model. Future-proofed by a quantum-resistant encryption scheme, SheVM brings both privacy and security to smart contracts. In short, SheVM stands out by transforming how confidentiality and composability can coexist on mainstream blockchains without sacrificing performance, decentralization, or developer productivity. Project number three, PowerShell, a cross-platform shell that treats data like objects, not text. What makes PowerShell so unique is how it transforms the way we interact with and automate systems. First, it's fully cross-platform, running seamlessly on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, making automation universal rather than tied to a single operating system. But the real magic lies in how it handles data. Unlike traditional shells that only deal with plain text, PowerShell speaks in .NET objects. 
This means when a command runs, it's not just passing text around, it's passing structured data packed with properties and methods. So chaining commands becomes powerfully straightforward. You don't need to parse text output, you just hand the object along the pipeline. Also, PowerShell brings together a powerful shell, scripting language, and automation framework all in one. It's a unified tool, not just for interactive commands, but for building complex automation workflows, managing systems, deploying code, or streamlining DevOps across platforms. Every built-in command or sumblet is designed to work with the object-based pipeline. Plus, it comes with handy features like tab completion, in-console help, robust history, and intelligently predictable input suggestions, making it both powerful and user-friendly. In short, PowerShell is unique because it brings together object-aware automation, cross-platform consistency, and a unified toolkit into one modern command environment. It stands out as a shell that's not just powerful, but intelligent, adaptable, and future-ready, perfect for both seasoned administrators and automation enthusiasts. Project number four, Athes, a lightning-fast, ultra-lightweight code editor that stays out of your way. Athes stands out because it delivers a smooth, distraction-free coding experience without the bulk. It's built with a minimal setup in mind, designed to be lightweight, yet powerful, swiftly launching and staying responsive on macOS, Windows, and Linux. With its lean design, Athes gets out of your hair, letting you focus entirely on your work instead of wrestling with performance issues. One of its most exciting strengths is customizability. Athes lets you personalize your environment with custom themes and font choices, giving you a workspace that matches your style and boosts your comfort while you work. It also embraces familiar workflows. There's work in progress for a Vim-style editing mode, allowing keyboard lovers to move with efficiency and precision as they code. Another standout feature is its built-in flexibility. Think Git integration, remote connections, an embedded terminal, and even AI agent support all bundled into a single small package around 27 megabytes in size. You get these developer-centric tools without the complexity or bloat of larger platforms. It's like carrying a full-featured workspace in your pocket. Athos also reflects a philosophy that many of us share, coding should feel fast and effortless, not fragmented. The creator emphasizes that development environments are often too scattered, and Athos brings the essentials into one cohesive focused app. In short, Athos stands apart by being fast, simple, and customizable, yet surprisingly capable. It offers essential editor features, styled with your preferences, powered by sophisticated workflow tools, and ready for keyboard-first users, all packed into a sleek, minimal footprint. Focus, flow, and full control, all in one place. Project number five, Jays. The world's first open-source multimodal creative assistant that's privacy-first and locally deployable. Jays is a game changer because it blends creative freedom, privacy, and versatility in a way few tools do. It lets creators generate both images and videos from a single prompt, instantly transforming ideas into visual content. No need for jumping between different apps or services. Its Magic Canvas and Magic Video features empower users to build visuals by sketching, arranging like digital Lego, or describing scenes. AI takes care of the rest, without prompting rules. What sets Jays apart is its strong emphasis on privacy and flexibility. It supports fully local deployment, meaning all your work stays on your machine. Nothing leaves your device unless you explicitly want it to. You can also opt for a hybrid approach, plugging into cloud services when needed, or stick entirely to local models like Comfy UI or Olama, offering both power and peace of mind. Another standout is its infinite canvas and visual storyboarding. You can lay out scenes, link visuals, and build stories dynamically, moving between frames seamlessly, and collaborating in real time. And the smart AI agent system makes the experience interactive. Chat to insert objects, adjust styles, and maintain consistency across multiple characters and scenes. What also makes Jazz unique is its open-source nature combined with cross-platform support. Whether you're on Windows or Mac OS, you get a desktop experience that respects your data and lets you take full ownership of your creative process. In summary, Jazz stands out by offering a seamless blend of one-prompt visual generation, a dynamic creative canvas, chat-driven design control, and privacy-first deployment options, all wrapped in an accessible, open-source package. It makes visual storytelling fast, collaborative, and completely under your control. Project number six, Daft, the multimodal data engine that simplifies AI workflows. Daft is redefining how developers work with massive, messy data by tackling text, images, audio, video, and more, all with the ease once reserved for SQL. 
Born from challenges faced during autonomous vehicle development, this engine merges a Python-friendly interface with powerful under-the-hood performance. What makes Daft stand out is its versatile data handling. It isn't limited to rows and columns of numbers or text. Its system natively manages complex and nested data, like images, embeddings, and rich media, all stored efficiently with Apache Arrow. If you once dreaded wrangling multimodal data, those days are over. Interactivity is another game-changer. Daft supports an intuitive approach, use a lazy Python Danum cram or SQL-like syntax to explore and analyze data. Behind the scenes, Daft's query optimizer learns from these interactive sessions, boosting performance as you iterate. It also scales seamlessly, whether you're experimenting on your laptop or running workloads across clusters via integration with Ray. Daft isn't just theory, it's real and reliable. It's battle-tested at notable companies like Amazon, Cloud Kitchens, and others, processing petabytes of multimodal data every day for AI systems that power self-driving cars, personalization engines, and more. Developers are taking notice. Daft is trending in the Rust community, praised for delivering high performance through a Rust core and seamless Python bindings. It balances speed, safety, and contribution friendliness, drawing people into multimodal data innovation. In essence, Daft is unique for four key reasons, intuitive Python or SQL access, native support for multimodal data, smart scaling from laptop to cluster, and proven real-world impact. It speeds up experimentation and removes infrastructure friction, so teams can build AI applications faster without getting stuck in plumbing. Project number seven, ByteBot. Your AI gets its own virtual desktop to handle real tasks. ByteBot redefines how automation works by giving AI its very own virtual computer. No longer confined to browser-only scripts or rigid process flows, it lives inside a containerized Linux desktop, so it can open apps, move files, log into websites even with two-factor authentication, and process documents, all driven by simple, plain English instructions. What makes ByteBot unmistakably unique is its human-like autonomy. You don't need to write complex scripts or design flowcharts like with traditional RPA tools. It understands your intent in everyday language and adapts on the fly. That means when a website layout changes or an unexpected pop-up appears, ByteBot figures out what to do without crashing. Security and control aren't afterthoughts. They're central. Since every task runs locally in an isolated Docker container, your data never leaves your infrastructure. You maintain total ownership, no cloud lock-in, no hidden data collection, just full privacy and flexibility. And it plays well with modern AI systems. ByteBot works seamlessly with Anthropic Claude, OpenAI's GPT models, Google Gemini, and even local models via Light LLM. That means you can use the AI tools you trust while letting ByteBot handle the manual work. Watching ByteBot work is part of the experience. You can actually see its virtual desktop in action through a live UI and even step in if needed for setup or control. Whether you need to automate invoice downloads, data entry across legacy systems, document analysis, QA testing, or even onboarding workflows, ByteBot turns repetitive tasks into something effortless. It brings real desktop-level fluency to AI agents, rich applications, complex workflows, real results. And that wraps up our deep dive into some of the most exciting open-source dev tools. We've seen how Agent Squad coordinates AI experts for nuanced conversations in Fichy VM, brings unprecedented privacy to blockchain with fully homomorphic encryption and more. If you found these tools fascinating, please give this video a like, share it with your developer friends and subscribe for more cutting-edge content. Let us know in the comments which tool you're most excited to try first. Thanks for watching.